Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted that Windows 11 24H2 is going to block you using a fake email address to bypass signing into a Microsoft account, which as you may well know, is quite a popular choice um, when trying to avoid um, setting up a new device, as an example, with Microsoft wanting you to sign in using a Microsoft account. Now, while we are talking about a Microsoft account, and by the way, that video will be linked in the end screen. While we are talking about a Microsoft account, it seems that Microsoft is intent to get as many Windows users to sign into Windows using a Microsoft account. And my reason for saying this is because um, recently they have posted a new article over on Microsoft support talking about the benefits of changing from a local account to a Microsoft account. With Microsoft saying that when you initially set up your Windows device, you might have opted to use a local account instead of a Microsoft account. And then they say the main difference, as you may well know, between a local account and a Microsoft account is that a local account is specific to one device, while a Microsoft account can be used across multiple devices and Microsoft services. And then they give the main differences differentiating a local account as opposed to a Microsoft account. Now, the first is that a local account, they say, is created on the device, as many of you will know, and doesn't require internet connectivity to sign in. It's independent of other services and is not connected to the cloud. Your settings, files, and applications are limited to that single device. And that's why a local account is a popular choice, um, especially for users who are privacy conscious and concerned about privacy, because obviously there's none of that telemetry and phoning home between your device and the Microsoft servers and that servers, and that's why it makes it a popular choice, especially for privacy. And then they give the benefits of a Microsoft account. They say a Microsoft account, on the other hand, is associated to an email address and password that you use with Outlook.com, Hotmail, OneDrive, Skype, Xbox, and Windows. They carry on to say that when uh, you sign into your PC with a Microsoft account, you're connected to a Microsoft cloud service and your settings and files can sync across various devices and you can also use it to access other Microsoft services. And this is where the Microsoft account I've seen, especially in the comments of this channel, in some comments, this is where a Microsoft account is not a popular choice because that so-called syncing across various devices and Microsoft services is what um, raises a bit of a red flag when it comes to privacy. And that's where that telemetry and phoning home between your device and the Microsoft service is taking place. So that's why a local account with many users is a popular, more popular choice than a Microsoft account where a local account is more for privacy and a Microsoft account, I would say, is more for functionality and the practical side of things. Now, believe it or not, um, in this article, Microsoft has added a new section. And believe it or not, they've actually posted a section to help you change from a Microsoft account to a local account, which was, wasn't there before. So obviously, Microsoft is starting to listen a little bit to its users, which I always think is a good thing, because obviously this local account versus Microsoft account has been a cause of contention and debate for um, many years now um, regarding Windows. And basically, Microsoft shows you how to set up a local account and change from a Microsoft account to a local account. Now, if you are unaware how to do this, as you can see, if you head to your settings, accounts, and your info, so if we just head out of here again and just head to our settings, accounts, head over to your info, and yeah, you have the option to create a local account. So even Microsoft says Windows is better when setting when settings and files automatically sync, but you can sign in with a local account instead. And then what you would do here um, is that you would click on that, you know, just read through the dialogue, and then you can follow the prompts, and you can then set up your device to sign in with a local account. And obviously, that's um, after you have set up a new device, you have this option to come here to sign in with a local account although microsoft does say in the article which i'm sure doesn't come as a surprise that they do recommend using a microsoft account but nonetheless that's the benefits um according to microsoft um of changing from a local account uh, to a microsoft account although microsoft does give us in the article 
um, a section, a new section now, which I thought was interesting that you can change from a Microsoft account to a local account. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always open to good constructive criticism and comments in the channel and on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.